Counselor! Is that you? Counselor! Come out, come out wherever you are. Cape Fear TV series coming from Nick Antosca, Steven Spielberg, and Martin Scorsese. A TV version of Cape Fear. I don't know how this works, but I saw this article when I was kind of scrolling through. came out a few days ago, but I still wanted to talk about it. Now, I don't understand how you're going to do this outside of making it a procedural. That is the thing. Are you going to go back to the original story? Or are they going to give this the modern facelift? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I've never seen the original version of the movie. Only clips of it used in other shows and such. But, or never read the novel either. Like I said, I just saw the movie. I watched it with my mom and dad, like, after it came out. And I've seen it maybe once or twice since. It's not something that I've seen, you know, over and over again. Um, it was a fine movie. I didn't dislike it at all. You know, I understood it a little bit better when I was older. But Robert De Niro definitely plays a great menacing uh, character in this as he's going after the family of the man who was responsible for his conviction. So let's take a look at this article, though. At one point in time, Steven Spielberg was set to direct the thriller Cape Fear, while Martin Scorsese was attached to direct the historical drama Schindler's List. Then Scorsese decided to step away from Schindler's List, a choice that coincided with Spielberg deciding that Cape Fear was too violent for him. So the directors traded movies, resulting in Scorsese directing Robert De Niro and Juliette Lewis to Oscar nominations for Cape Fear and Steven Spielberg turning Schindler's List into a Best Picture winner. Now, Deadline reports that Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese are teaming up to executive produce a TV series adaptation of Cape Fear with Nick Antosca on board as executive producer and showrunner. I'm interested to see what level of involvement that Spielberg and Scorsese actually have with this. But seeing it come back under these two showrunners, like I said, this is an interesting concept. And with the nature of the story... I mean, you could do one, I would say one season out of this. And if you took it back to the old style of television, you know, when there was more than eight episodes in a season, you just take it back to TV shows when they had, you know, 15, 20 episodes a season with this. I think if you did, depending on how much you want to draw the story out and what you can do to keep it interesting, I mean, if you did, I would say 12 to 15 episodes of this it would be solid. You could do that and do a contained story, you know, uh, expand on what you would have told, okay, this is this is how I would do it. I would take the story from the novel or the, you know, take that story, stretch it out, expand on it a little bit and, you know, give your characters a little more fleshing out and you know, you, you'll have to have some ancillary characters to, you know, as, as filler. Here's what now, here's what's going to happen. Is they'll probably give it a facelift and reimagining for the modern audience and their delicate sensibilities. And I, I don't think that'll happen, honestly. I don't. That's the, that's the doomsday scenario that's being blackpilled on it. I'd like to think with Scorsese uh, and Spielberg involved. I'm not, I, I'm not too familiar with Nick Antosca at all, but... He's the showrunner and executive producer and is obviously going to be run the day-to-day. -day. Martin Scorsese and um, Steven Spielberg ain't going to be in the trenches running the day-to-day -day on the Cape Fear TV show. It's not going to happen. But Antosca, yeah, he's going to be the guy that's running this. Nick Antosca's previous credits include Hannibal, The Forest, Channel Zero, Brand New Cherry Flavor, Antlers, The Act, Candy, and A Friend of the Family. The only one of those outside of Hannibal that I've heard of is Antlers, which was an interesting concept for a horror movie, which I still haven't seen. I know that came out like three, four years ago, and I want to check that one out. Uh, this is coming our way from Amblin Television and UCP, a division of Universal Studios. This version of Cape Fear is said to be as an unconventional take on the IP that turns this story into a tense contemporary thriller 
that examines America's obsession with true crime in the 21st century. In it, a storm is coming for a pair of married attorneys when an infamous killer from their past gets released after years in prison. I will reserve judgment. I was kind of hoping for a period piece on this. I really was. Uh, because I find things like this set in the modern age, these redos, a lot of it, it takes the mystique away from them. It really, it really hurts some uh, some movies when you move these stories that exist in a certain time. Now, and I know there's some people in the comments that are going to be like, "Well, the 1991 was an update of the 1961, so that updated it. And you like that one, so you like, you know, because that's what I got on the people under the stairs video. I could make a video on the comment section from." the people under the stairs video. I, I, I just might. I just might because what a comical f just dumpster fire that comment section is. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. Uh, and they give us a little lesson in history on Cape Fear. The Cape Fear story began with a novel called The Executioners by John D. McDonald, first published in 1957. That book received a film film adaptation in 1962 oh see though people the, you said it was 1961 it was 1962 that means the movie came out 29 years later you were wrong you stupid son of a bitch uh directed by J. lee thompson who was working from storyboards devised by original director alfred hitchcock Released in 1991, Scorsese's Cape Fear was a second take on the material. It's said that Antosca has been obsessed with Cape Fear movies since he was a kid. Okay, so see, that's a little more that's a little more reassuring right there. Seeing somebody who is a you know, hopefully he's not a Kevin Smith obsessed fan, which means that he really wasn't a fan at all. The Cape Fear TV series project is currently at the center of a bidding war. Deadline notes that potential homes for the project include UCB sibling Peacock, where Antosca recently did A Friend of the Family, Apple TV Plus, if it's on Apple TV Plus, I'll never see it, where Scorsese has a first look TV deal and just directed Killers of the Flower Moon, Hulu, home of Antosca, UCP's The Act and Candy, and Netflix, the platform of Antosca's UCP brand new cherry flavor with utter... Uh, English, motherfucker, do you speak it? with other major players such as HBO also said to be interested. In addition to Spielberg, Scorsese, and Antosca, the Cape Fear TV series will be executive produced by Alex Hedlund of Eat the Cat. Looking at this with the information that is given in this article, which shout out to Joe Blow Horror for this one, I, I look at it like this. Okay, so Nick Antosca is admitted to have been obsessed with the movies since he was a kid. All right which means he probably really, really likes it and hopefully wants to stay true to the original source material. Now, I'm, I don't mean by retelling the original story again, which, I mean, like I said, if you took that in, a, in the form of a series, took it, stretched it out, you could do it. But if it's going to be, you know, married attorneys and it's a somebody from there, okay, so this, this kind of sticks with the, you know, theme of the original, which I like. And yeah, if this is on a streaming platform that I have and subscribe to, I will definitely watch this when it comes out. Uh, and let me know if you guys want me to do a review of Cape Fear. I wouldn't mind that. Like I said, I enjoyed the movie. I've seen it about, you know, two, three times. Hell, maybe I'll even watch the original if I can find it somewhere. Add my thoughts on that in after watching the 1991 version again. So feel free to correct me in the comment section below because I, I know you guys enjoy doing that, uh, especially when the people commenting don't watch the entire video uh, because I see the watch time. So yeah, they, they watch like it's, it's great when people will watch like a minute of a video and they're like, no, no, and they shriek and make some stupid comment, like call me a racist, um, which in that Jordan Peele video, if you watch the entire video, you'd see I presented that pretty, uh, pretty well. But let me know what you think of Cape Fear, the TV series. What do you guys think? Do you think Nick Antosca can, you know, use his uh, f admitted fandom of this IP to translate it into the modern lens for a modern audience without ruining it and making it bad? Notice what word I didn't use. I just said bad. It's got to be well written with good characters, folks. 
And I'll be interested to see how they cast this. That's another thing I'm very interested in. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding the bell for notifications. So you know when we go live with one of our weekly live streams like tonight, Monday night going in raw. Join the Horsemen this evening, 835 Eastern. I'm Etep Kui, and from the place to be reviews, I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I will catch you on the next one.